Welcome back to Design Fusion's YouTube channel. My name is Vishal Patel. In this video, we will see how to work with point cloud data in NX version 1899. A point cloud data is a collection of points which defines a 3D shape of an object. For example, these points on the screen are resembling the shape of a rabbit. Now all of these points need to be turned into a usable format. Traditionally, you can use surfacing tools to come up with the geometry. However, the process is time consuming and requires a lot of skill. Well, Annex makes this task fast and efficient with a new tool called Mesh from Cloud. So let's begin the demonstration and look at the tool options. For the input, we have two choices. You can either select the source file directly, or you can select the existing points from the part file. For now, I'm going to select these points from the part file to generate the convergent body. And once the selection is done, we have few more options that can meet your requirement. By default, this is set to keep all points. This option does exactly what it says and creates vertices for each point in the cloud. The suggested neighborhood size is calculated automatically when the input cloud is defined. In addition, we can analyze the quality of the output convergent body. If this option is turned on, system shows a quality report on the fly that can contain information such as number of facets, boundary edges, and the mesh quality. And here is the convergent body created from the point cloud data. I'm going to rename this to compare with other mode options. Now, let's use points directly from the source file. When you expand the file type, notice that NX have included most commonly used point cloud data file formats. Once the selection is done, a message pops up with the information that some lines from the file will be ignored. This is just a smart way by NX to avoid lines in the source file that do not meet point definition. And it is great because you do not need to clean up the source file before starting the process, simply a time saver. This time, we will set the mode option to variable density. This option will create larger facets in the low curvature area and smaller facets in the high curvature area. In addition, it allows us to set tessellation percentage and target work test number if we need to. It also has a smoothing factor bar to smooth out the convergent body. For comparison purposes, I will keep everything at the default settings. And let's rename this to the variable density. The third mode option is uniform density, which will try to create same size facets throughout the point cloud. With uniform density, we get similar additional options as variable density. So again, keeping everything as default for comparison purposes, here is the third convergent body. Let's rename this to uniform density.
Now let's compare all three outputs that we have got here. We notice that keep all points option has created vertices at each point in the cloud. While the variable density option has created larger facets in the low curvature area and smaller facets in the high curvature area. And the uniform density has kept almost same size facets throughout the point cloud. We want to show that if your source file contains swarms of point cloud data, NX will handle that too. In this example, the result is four individual convergent bodies for each swarm of point cloud data. This concludes the demonstration. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and thank you for watching.